This is the Team Associated RC10B5 Team Kit. This is the rear motor buggy. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing here before I get into the build, and I'll I'll make uh, maybe one or two videos as I'm going through the build. But uh, just as a little background here, I've been running a B4.1 factory team chassis for about two years now, and it's a very good chassis. I, I've you know done pretty well with it, um, but it is not an easy buggy to drive by any standard, uh, but you do certainly learn how to drive with it. So uh, the other week I was trying out my friend's B5, and I drive with a stick radio, and he drives with a pistol radio. And uh, even in using his pistol grip radio on his B5, set up as stock, it felt phenomenal. It was a world of difference from the, the B4.1. So uh, that's what really... Uh, uh, motivated me to get this chassis. So uh, let's do a, a quick unboxing here. And by the way, I bought the rear motor kit because the mid motor kit isn't really something that you would need on the tracks that I race on. Mid motor is something you would use more for very, very high traction surfaces uh, where, say, they put sugar on the track or something. Uh, but for most applications, the rear motor is just fine. And also, since the rear motor B5 feels more neutral than the rear motor B4.1. Uh, I figured I'd at least start with this anyway. If I really need a mid motor, I can get one. Anyway, you got your uh, decal sheets, instruction manuals and everything uh, in this bag here. In typical team associated fashion, you have your different parts bags that are labeled uh, based on uh, the, the process that you're going through throughout the instruction manual. Very much unlike Kyosho, if you go back and look my, look at my Kyosho Laser uh, ZX-5 build, um, nothing was really labeled very well, and uh, it was it was a bit of a pain to get through the build. This I expect to be much more like the B4.1 uh, build. It should be much more straightforward to get through. I hear some of the diff parts, for example. Uh, I hear that the B5 has two more diff balls in the middle of the diff than the B4, uh, presumably for longevity, for example. Uh, here are the shocks. These are the version 2 uh, big bore shocks. These have uh, the same sized shock shaft as the version 1 shocks. It's just that they're not tie nitride coated. That presumably makes them a little bit smoother. Uh, and also the seals on the version 2 shocks were updated uh, to give a smoother feel. Uh, a lot of my friends that have been running the version 1 big bore shocks have complained about the uh, team associated not changing the O-rings from the standard board of the big bore shocks, and so they start off very tight. And you have to spend some time letting uh, the O-rings kind of soak with shock oil before they're really uh, useful for a smooth operation. So for the big bore shocks, is the body. I plan on using the stock body, although j Consist and Proline have already released uh, bodies for the B5. This body's plenty fine. It, you know... I'm not a real complainer in that regard. Uh, here's the wing, a whole bunch of other stuff, wheels. Uh, as I understand it, the B5 hex wheels are the same as the B4.2 hex wheels. So uh, I picked up a, a couple of sets of J Concepts Mono 2.2 inch hex rims for uh, two wheel drive buggies. They should be a perfect fit in terms of the offset and everything, so no worries there. Uh, you know, other standard stuff here. Uh, these. Um, Ball cups certainly do appear to be beefier, and as you can tell, they have a little hole in them, so that way if you want to adjust the uh, ball stud position, you don't have to take the ball cup off. You can just put your hex, uh, hex driver right through that hole there and adjust your ball stud. So, you know, all your standard parts and everything, suspension arms, uh, hopefully these arms are uh, stronger than the B4 arms. Um, I heard that, at least the impression I get from uh, my fellow club racers at my local track is that the B5 does feel like a more quality chassis than the B4. So uh, hopefully, you know, time will tell how these parts wear in and loosen up. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to this build. And I just want to do, you know, a very quick unboxing here just to show you uh, what's in here. And uh, soon I'll have uh, another video for the first couple steps of the build process. Thanks for watching.